Okay, everybody. Here is part B to commentary. So here we have in New York City, a 1300 room hotel for the migrants. Again, they're simply giving these people, they're taking care of the immigrants more than Americans, okay? They're making sure the replacements get a good start. Because I don't know where any American can go for free, just enter a country, walk up, go get you a hotel, and, and free food. 1,300 room hotel, and we have women and children, especially in the B.C. on the street. People stacked up in apartments, nowhere to go. And when you don't have your home, you're staying with somebody that's basically homeless. You couch surfing. We have Americans sleeping. Not, don't forget, I already showed them sleeping inside banks. Sleeping inside where you go to use the ATM machine. But here you have a 1300 room hotel. And then on top of that, food. It doesn't make any sense. This is crazy. We have citizens who suffer from food insecurities. They will go to work every day. Pay the rent or the mortgage. And most are paying rent. Can't afford a mortgage. Pay the rent or mortgage. Gasoline, transportation. Utilities. Then there's no money left for food. And those same people will then turn around and do what? Go to the food bank. I've seen videos of it, and in New York, sometimes they go to the food bank, they're out of food. Go to the food bank, and they're out of food, and yet still, those same people who are working, who are American citizens, who are taxpayers, sitting up here, these folks haven't paid a dime in. All this food. Look, in containers now, they are so stupid. Who doesn't have common sense to say, okay, you know what we should go ahead and do? Food now, in containers. No one can say, okay, what we should go ahead and do is uh, take it to the local food bank. Hell, you're paying for everything else. You're paying for everything else. It can't go to a food bank. This makes no sense. And then even the irony of that. So all this food, three times a day, they bring these cars in for the immigrants. And the food banks are running low. Very, very, very low. Food banks are running low. So if you don't get there in time, boom. And you know, and, and people are leaving with like sm small bags. They're doing all of this to cater to the immigrants. They're doing all this. And these people have never paid a dollar in. Talk about the angry American, you think? These people have not paid into the system. You paid into it and they're saying bump you. And most of the people, I guarantee you, most of the people that are going to the food banks can't hold make it. I bet you most of them voted Democrat. When will the average American get a return on the investment, a return on the vote? A vote is an exchange. All this food. So, I mean, this is, I, I, it, it's, it's unconscionable. This is ridiculous. It's insanity. Uh, who do you think is paying for the food and who do you think is paying for the hotel? Tax dollars out of, out of the paychecks, out of your paycheck. But when you get on hard times, good luck, buddy. Throwing the food away. If you can f bring this food to these individuals, guess what? You can stop homelessness. All the heck you can. You can stop homelessness and you can stop starvation. You can end food security. If you can do all of this right here, you can end food security. It, it is... Let's me know that guess what? They don't want to. How else can you explain it? How else can you explain it? 
and it's going to get worse because guess what job again i keep saying don't believe the, the the green on the screen each time they have this report cpi comes out today it's a false rally and then some companies they're doing all these cut because you know what that's what shareholders want okay that means you're cutting more jobs good cutting more jobs very good why that means that's over here chop 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 but someone doesn't have a check they don't care about that so what's the point the point is it's going to get a lot worse again imagine living in a town and i made this before especially to the piece like my home girl you worried about some forces it's not even worried about you if you're caring so much go ahead and go to la and some of those areas and move in and see what's going to happen to you you might get firebombed by your car everybody's after resources black people y'all are pretty much after friendship i don't know why we don't even like ourselves Everybody else is after resources. The BC is after, I want to be, so I need a friend. I want to have a friend. You don't have any. The working class American, poor Americans, you don't have any. It has, it's obvious they will take care of immigrants more than the Americans. I just can't, I can't wrap my head around it. Who do you think is paying for this food? So imagine you going to work and your textiles are paying for food for people that have never paid into the system. But then inflation, the cost of living is so expensive that once you go to work, you can't even afford food to make it make sense. People that have never paid into a system, because we can't, my point is we can't afford it. We got to take care of our own people. People that have never paid into a system, you get down and out on your rent, or maybe you have a place to live, but you don't have heat or sufficient water. It's either stay where you are in dilapidated conditions or be homeless. Because you don't have a choice just to roll up through here for your tax dollars to help you. You don't have a choice to roll up through here. But Joy B told you he was going, he said we'd be foolish. As I recall, I think he said, and I quote him verbatim, foolish not to invest in them. This is what an investment looks like. But my question is who's going to invest in the American people? Let times get hard for you. Show me an American. You can just go up to this hotel in New York City and just get you a room and some food. Who do you think is paying? The tax dollars. That's who's paying. Chicago. Lightfoot. She's asking for $54 million. $54 million to go ahead and see about the needs of illegal immigrants. And if you notice, they want to say immigrants. It's illegal because they haven't filed like the other people have. It's illegal, illegal immigrants. They want to say immigrants. Put the illegal on it. Call it what it is. The only place an American can go if they break the law for three hots in a cottage jail or prison. Because you're you're you know you're not you're you're a native. But illegal immigrant, this is what you get. And Americans are homeless. Women and children. Where can women and children go? A lot of them are dealing with, you know, single parenthood, domestic issues. Where can those women and children go so they can be safe in a hotel and have uh, uh, three hots in a cot? Even the shelters are full. This is insanity. But, okay, hey, it's a bigger plan. And all I can say, it's not going to get better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Simply said here on YouTube, I'm out. I look forward to reading your comments, people. Let me know your thoughts.